Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to revisit and update an issue we've talked about before. How much property should a, a debtor going through bankruptcy be allowed to protect? My guest in this segment is Bob Wachowski, a member of the State Senate from the Fremont area, South Bay of San Francisco. Thanks very much for being with us. Well, thank you for having me, Steve. So we've talked about this issue before. It's legislation that would give debtors uh, a few breaks, and uh, you're having a little trouble with it, but let's talk about the issue first. Well, I mean, the, the fundamental issue is an exemption. What should you be protected from? What property should be protected from creditors? And I think, historically, people think of a homestead exemption as it protects your home. Um, certain some thing, certainly some things should not be uh, uh, taken from you, your your clothing, I think, unless you've got some uh, luxury items or your your household, your couch and your furniture, things like that. And when it gets to the, ha the home, other states have done a really good job of staying close to the medium family price of a house and their and their homestead exemption. California hasn't. Part of that is because we've got a crazy volatile real estate market that that um, it's not uncommon for people to say I've gained 200,000, 300,000 in equity in our house. And um, so trying to talk about that with legislators and saying we need to protect Californians. We need to let, you know, uh, our residents keep more of the equity in their home that they've built up over a lifetime. So you want to increase the homestead exemption. Uh, some might say, well, you know, if these guys are going through bankruptcy, why should we bail them out? Well, it's it's not a bailout. I mean, remember, they're secured creditors. The people that they borrowed money from the house, um, those people will get paid. The, the taxes, get, taxes get paid. This is a random unsecured creditor, a medical bill, maybe somebody that, that uh, you have a dispute with that has an unsecured uh, claim. You never pledged your collateral of your house. So what happens is that normally if you had a, a, a strong homestead exemption, I mean, this bill would only raise the homestead exemption to $100,000 for an, an individual. Now, in the Sacramento, Los Angeles, Bay Area, that's not a lot of equity uh, to raise it. It's a very modest incremental step from 75 to 100, 100. For a senior, it raises it to 300000 and that's because we think that we understand that seniors may not be able to go out and get a job and, and make a payment for um, on a new loan that they'd, they'd have to get. Um, but it, it reflects, it's closer to what the medium family ha uh, home is worth right now in California, which is $460,000. And the whole idea is that you don't want to totally wipe out someone who then ends up on public assistance, for example. Correct, correct. And, and going back to the, you know, the creditor is saying, we don't want you to sell the people's house. Or we, want, we don't want that house to be forcibly sold, liquidated in bankruptcy. Because you, if you owe money, if I owe money to a creditor, they've got a lot of options now. They can garnish my wages. They could levy my bank account. They can securitize that by placing a lien against my house so that when I sell my house or the homeowner sells their house, then you get paid. But you don't get to liquidate it with the bankruptcy. Trustee. That's the key difference is that, is that the debt is still there if it's securitized as a lien, but we want people to be able to live in their homes until the end of their life. Your major opposition is coming from the bankers. Yes. Um, they've really focused in on this modest increase. And also, there's a, a bankruptcy case that came down in 2012 that, that requires a reinvestment of the homestead exemption in six months. And that was designed for people outside of bankruptcy. It was, you know, you and I, you sue me and you liquidate my house. Now, inside of bankruptcy, it's having a horrible effect on people. All right. Well, the measure is still on the, the assembly floor, and we'll watch it progress, uh, hopefully for, from your standpoint, in the uh, weeks and months ahead. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable.